Continuing from our last video where I showed you how to create a simple sprite, right now I'm going to show you how to create an animation from our sprite. So first thing you need to do is figure out what type of animation you would like to create, whether it's a morphing animation, whether it's a movement animation or a growth animation. What I'm going to show you today is simply just how to change uh, your color animation. It's very, very simple to do. Um, and it's also going to teach you how to use some of the animation um, specifics in Piscal. So first, if you look up over here on the uh, to the left, there is our first frame. And that's just showing the image that we have here. Underneath that, there is an add new frame option. Now I can click on this to create a brand new frame. However, as you see, it is blank. And as you see from the viewer over here, our image is being animated, but it's kind of just popping in and out. Um, now, for the purpose of this animation, I don't want to create a brand new one. So all I'm going to do is click on the delete this frame. There we go. What I want to do is if I hover over my first frame, there is a little icon here that says duplicate frame. So what we want to do is go ahead and click on that. And there it is, it duplicated my frame. Now, simply for this frame, all I want to do is I want to change the color of my little mushroom guy's hat. So I'm going to change it to green. So we get an extra life there. I'm going to click in the area and there we go. So as I said last time, any areas that are blocked off, um, I'm going to have to go in and color those in. There we go. So there is two of our frames right now. And as you can see in our viewing window to the right, uh, our coloring is kind of going crazy there back and forth. Now underneath our viewing window, it says 12 FPS. That means frames per second. So the higher the number is, the more frames per second. And our image is kind of strobing back and forth the slower the frames per second, the uh, lower the number is. Now, if I wanted to, I can view this right now by clicking on this icon right here that says Open Viewer in Pop-Up. Okay, and let me bring that into the frame. There we go. That's what it looks like right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more frame. I'm going to change to another color. So I'm going to go ahead and X that out. I want to duplicate this frame. There we go. And I'm going to change my color to yellow. I forget what the yellow stands for in Mario. So for those of you who know, uh, I'm sorry that I don't. All right, so there we go, a nice bright yellow. Go ahead and fix my two little single pixels. And there we go, we see it here. And let's once again view it in the pop up window. So there we go. All right. I like it. So there is uh, a simple animation, simply just changing colors. All right, what I can do to save this is I can go to the same thing I did before, I can save it to my gallery. All right, so all that's going to do is save our animation in our gallery. So if, if I hover over, it will show me how it's changing colors. Okay, I'm going to go back to Edit Sprite because what I want to do is I want to show you how to change it and save it as a GIF file. Now, a GIF animation file is basically what our animation was here. It's just a repetition of the same animation. So I'm going to go to, oops, sorry, I'm going to go to export. Okay, so I want to export this as a GIF. Convert your sprite to a GIF animation, and we want it to loop repeatedly. All right, so we can either download it to our desktop or anywhere on our computer, or we can upload. Uh, for the purpose of this, I'm going to download this. 
And what that did is it went straight to my download folder. Now this is a little bit of out of the frame. Right now, I know that it just looks like a single image. Um, if I scroll with my mouse, it'll show the different colors. But what's going to happen is if I were to upload this to, say, um, the Internet, what it would do is it would show the, and it's actually pronounced GIF, not GIF. My students would correct me on that. Uh, the GIF animation would then show where our little mushroom guy or your character would be then changing color. Uh, but being that's right now saved onto the desktop, it's showing as a single image, which is fine. I'm going to X out of that. Now I can also, if I wanted to, I can upload this to the public URL. So if I click on upload, here is my, uh, my link. So I click on that. It will take me to a brand new uh, web page. And there's my animation. Here we go. All right, so those are just a few ways in order to save your animation. Now there's just two other quick types of animations I want to show you, and both are dealing with movement. So what I want to do is I want to go back to my frames. I want to delete the yellow and the green frames, and I'm going back to my original red. I'm going to duplicate this frame. Over here to the right, there is transformation options. I want to click on the rotate. So I'm rotating my character. There we go, 90 degrees counterclockwise. I'm going to duplicate this frame and do the same. And one more time. And transform, there we go. So in my animation, my character is looking like it is rolling and moving around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this animation. I can save to my gallery again. Saved gallery. Now you might say, well, you just saved over everything else you did before. Actually, I didn't. If I go to my gallery, all right, here is my animation. If I click on this, it will say two previous versions available for this sprite. If I click on view previous versions, it will show me this is my character that rotates. This is my sprite character that changes color. And this was the original one frame version of just the single sprite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my pixel design. Here we go. Last thing I want to show you is how to move our character around the screen. So we've mastered um, rotating. I'm going to go back, delete these frames. There we go. Back to our original frame. I can use the move tool. I can move the character. Now, as you see, as I move him, it was fitted before, so now there's some blank pixels. I can use my palette. There we go. I can fill in oops, with the paint bucket tool. I can fill that area in. So I'm going to have him start up here, duplicate frame. I'm going to move him now down. All right, so here you see it's kind of moving up and down. I can do the same thing. I can fill in this area up top here. There we go. Duplicate this frame, move, fill in the blank, duplicate frame. Move. Now there's also quick keys you can use. Quick keys make life easier because I don't have to keep coming back over to the toolbox. So I can just easily press M in order to bring uh, my option back to the move tool. Move them back up here. There we go. 
Now for the paint bucket, quick keys, I can just press B while I'm out here. There we go. So here is my little movement animation. I could have it go the opposite way. I just chose this way. Uh, counterclockwise again, but he's not rotating. He is just going around in circles. So same thing I did before. Whoops. So that just brought our animation frame a little bit bigger. I did not mean to do that. I'm going to save this one more time. Save to gallery. And there we go. So in my gallery, I now have with this one animation, I now have four different versions. And there we go. So there are a few different options for you, how to create a sprite and how to create uh, animations in Pisco. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, leave a comment. Um, I'm gonna try to stop saying um in future videos. So uh, enjoy and have fun creating.